I'm standing outside the site of the Webster Mill, once a crucial part of the town of Orno. It hasn't been used since World War II, but that could be coming to an end. Welcome to Shore Drive, to a place that used to produce, to employ. Now stands a structure, its windows boarded, broken, its rooms empty. But it wasn't always like that. It made um, wallpaper, uh, was, its, was its most famous product in the, uh, in the Depression especially, the 20s, 30s, 40s. During World War II, they, uh, they hung on also by making um, shells, artillery shells in the machine shop. So that was kind of a uh, resourceful way of continuing to make money. But after years of abandonment and various environmental issues arising from that, Orono officials have been deciding what comes next. Over three years ago, we were pretty sure that there was contamination on the site. We just didn't know the extent of it, and it was a public safety hazard. And uh, the town took the property over. We asked the main DEP to assist us in evaluating the site. So once the land is free of contamination, what will become of it? There appears not to be interest on the part of the university or um, office developers or others to use it uh, for those purposes. It certainly could, technically feasible, but that's not, doesn't seem to attract much interest. Uh, where the interest appears to be is for residential use. So while this particular building has been but a shadow of its former self, the land could prove useful once again. Reporting for Mobile Man News, I'm Thomas Owen.